Hey guys, for Shushita here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue with a verification fail. This person is not active on your iPhone. You might see this message or something along the lines of this as well, where verification failed. This Apple ID is not active. This message are about the same and pretty much it means a couple things which we're going to explain and show you guys how to quickly fix this issue if you're having this issue because you can't do anything when this verification fails and pretty much locks up your Apple ID. So let's dive right into it. So why are you seeing this message is first thing first because you have to understand this in order to be able to fix it. Well, the reason you're seeing this message is because something has changed in your Apple ID. Either your Apple ID has been disabled, locked due to some things like payment, subscription or basically a security reason that Apple maybe seen some unusual activity or someone's trying to log into your account anything related to that if you're trying to use a lot of the services or something going on to their server but it could be an easy fix with these tips that we're going to tell you guys so first thing first is whenever you have this issue go ahead and do a force restart of your phone and this will resolve any minor software related issue so to do that you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down really quick you're going to do those and then hold this big side button until the screen goes completely black and then you see the apple logo and then you'll let go of it so in real time volume up and down press really quick like that and then hold that side button just like that if siri activates when you're doing this that means you didn't press and release the volume up and down really quick enough and as you can see we're not going to slide to power off because that'll just be a normal shutdown we're just going to wait till the phone goes black and the apple logo appears and we let go of that button and then wait for it to reboot cleanly now what this does is it refreshes the code gives it a nice clean reboot with a clean slate which will resolve pretty much most software related issue and one of the very first go-to steps when it comes to fixing any software related issue on your iphone so after you have done the first restart, see if that message still exists. Try to do whatever you're looking to do. Now, the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is actually checking up to see if there's anything that could be potentially impacting the services on Apple's side. And to, to check that, we're going to go ahead and open up a browser and search up Apple system status page. If you Google this, it should take you to a link where it's for Apple system status and then you'll see over here, you click on the plus icon, you'll see all these services that are saying available. What happens is Apple has all of these services for you to use whenever you're using any Apple product. However, like with anything, the services might not be available at a certain time because they're down due to maintenance or could be issues with the server. And generally Apple fixes these problems really quick. But in a rare case where let's say we have Apple ID, right? If this is unavailable or not available at the time, it's because there's an issue and that could be the reason why you're seeing that mes message. And if you're seeing this message during things like the Apple Store example, you wanna check wherever you're having this issue with the service, when you get that message, check that that service is available. And if it's not available, it's saying unavailable or there's an issue reported, you have to pretty much wait. You can't really do anything. Usually, generally within a few hours or even a few minutes, Apple resolves it. Could be sometimes even a day or two, but generally for most part, depending on how severe the issue is, Apple works on it really quick to make sure that their service is up and running. So in that case, just wait and then retry again. Now, if you're still having the issue now, the next thing you want to do is be on this and on a browser, like go on here, for example, we'll go on this browser or on a computer, it doesn't matter. You're gonna look for Apple ID and you're gonna hit this page. You're pretty much gonna go to appleid.apple.com. You're gonna put that in your browser, www.appleid.apple.com and then it'll take you to this page where you can actually sign in to your Apple ID online on Apple's website. So you're gonna click on sign in. Once you click on sign in, your email and Apple ID should pop up here. If not, you can just sign in. And with the password, you're going to go ahead and sign in. You're going to hit continue with password. Now, one thing you can do if you can't log in with your password, go ahead and click on that forget password, which will re give you an option to reset your password, which if you click on that, it will send you 
something like where you can verify your phone number or email and then you enter that in and then go through the process to reset your Apple ID password. And if your account was disabled or locked for some reason for that, it hopefully will resolve that issue. The other thing you can do is if you can't get into a browser, you can also go through the settings here, click on your Apple ID, and then where it says password and security, you're gonna click on that and then change the password. If you click on that, it will take you again, will prompt for your password or ID. And if you keep on entering it and it's saying lock, it will give you the option to, well, contact Apple or get it unlocked. Moving on to the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is in the settings here. So we're in the settings still, main page of settings. You wanna to go to general software update and make sure you have the latest version of the software update because sometimes what happens is Apple keeps on releasing new updates to improve services, but sometimes those could be impacting existing services. So that's why you wanna make sure that the latest version is up to date on your phone and you'll see a download or install if you're not up to date. Unfortunately, as you can see here, we're up to date with the latest version at the time of recording, which is iOS 16.2. But if there's an update available, make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi connection and go ahead and download that install and update. Now, the other thing you wanna check while you're here in the settings again, you're gonna to go to settings general and this time we're gonna look for date and time. You click on date and time. And as you can see here, you're gonna make sure you look at the date up top here and the time here, it matches up. So as you can see here, we got the date and time. We can also see the date here. So go back to settings, make sure that is set up correctly. If it's not picking up automatically, you can disable automatic, pick your time zone region as well, and then make sure that date and the time matches up exactly to your local time because if you're traveling different between different regions, different countries, that time zone changes. So you always wanna make sure you're at the right time zone. And generally, if you're connected to internet or through your data, it should pick up the right time zone. But in the case that it doesn't, make sure that you fix that and adjust it accordingly. Lastly, if all of that has failed, it's potentially something wrong with your Apple ID on the Apple side where they have locked it completely or disabled it completely and you have to contact them. Unfortunately, there's really not much you can do if the methods that we described didn't work. And how can you contact Apple? Well, simply you can go to Apple's website and contact them or just simply Google Apple uh, support. When you do that, Apple support help, something like that. It will give you either number you can call or you can chat with the live agent by going here or you can go through this contact method here. There's a bunch of ways to contact them either through the phone, through the chat, or you can even take it to the Apple store and it tells you the different options that you have. And they can take a look at your accounts to see what's going on. And if on their side, they're locked in, they can, it's an easy fix for them. They can just simply unlock it for you, may ask you to verify a couple things, but generally they have the ultimate control of your Apple account. And again, this is a free fix and a free service that Apple provides. They won't charge you anything like that. But again, you will have to contact them as the last resort if the methods we mentioned didn't work. And that's going to it for the video. We want to hear from you guys, which of these troubleshooting steps help you resolve your issue. Leave a comment in the comment section. And while you're at it, really appreciate it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.